field that we're starting out in today first day of the hunt great big field a lot of area to cover still early in the day but as far as I know nobody's pulled anything great out yet but I am a good boys away from the rest of the group so if they have I just haven't heard about it first up in the field first day of the hunt in England for this year is the uh, tried and true musket ball pretty little musket ball and I say first up I'd have dug a, a flat button some pieces of lead that kind of thing nothing good yet okay this thing was deep it blasted my ears off uh, see a coin here it looks silver just looking at it so let's see what we got doesn't feel like silver feels like aluminum uh, it looks like some sort of token of some kind maybe out of a cereal box or something let me clean that thing off and take a look at it so it is an aluminum token so it says uh, SO on the back England World Cup 1970 and it looks like Jerry Cooper or something Cooper. Disappointment there. I thought for sure that was going to be silver. Well, don't know exactly what it is I've got here. It appears to be a coin that has been made into a button. Holes are a little off-centered. Hadn't been a real productive day for me. Uh, but some good finds have come in. Uh, Saxon skeet, and Saxon brooch, and uh, woad grinder, and lots of other odds and ends. A few hammered also. Well, finally something uh, interesting comes out of the ground for me. Uh, Norwich token, I do believe. Front side with the castle. Back side very clearly dated uh, 1670 don't know how well that's showing up so uh, good little find not silver though well it's not the prettiest thing in the world but it is a piece of a hammer coin took me most of the day to come up with it but I'm happy okay this is the area that we're hunting today very very pretty area nice plowed field the uh, the Norfolk farthing uh, was indeed 1670 uh, and uh, in very good condition the uh, hammer that I dug was an Edward the first that was not in very good condition been digging this morning uh, for probably 45 minutes and have uh, come up with a lot of buttons, flat buttons, pieces of buckle. And I just dug this, uh, it's like a little tack, but it's very, very ornamented on top. Uh, I really have no idea what that is from. Not, not the usual tack. I also dug a couple of regular tacks this morning. Been hunting just along the side of this this field ditch here. You may may see the vehicles in the uh, distance. That's where I uh, started out at. So this tack I think has some some age to it. Uh, I think maybe I'll work around this area a little bit. Well, not sure what I've got here. It's silver, whatever it is. And it's got a design on it. Don't know if it may be a piece of coin or just something else. But I'll take it in. Find out. Yeah, it looks like a little copper hammer of some sort. A little bit of detail on it. Especially on this side. Well, in these English fields, it's not unusual at all to dig 50 caliber bullets. World War II, this one has been fired. You can see the rifling on it. It's in the bottom of this hole over here. So, fairly deep.
I don't know how well this is showing up on camera, but a uh, nice little bronze Roman coin here. Uh, looks to have good detail front and back. So I'm happy with that. Came out of that hole right down there. It's been a while since I've dug anything good. Been digging a lot of buttons, some round balls, lots of lead, and some trash. So I'm happy to see this come up. Well, this is the second rose farthing of the day. It's a hammered coin, but not exactly the hammered coins that uh, I am looking for. And finally, a little silver hammered coin. Don't know what it is. Have to clean it off and uh, find out. Small one, but I'll take it. Thank <laughs> you.